Speaking of building and designing, we've got even more for you coming up on Let's Talk Live. We'll be building the ultimate s'more after the break. So stay with us to get a taste of the gooey treat. Are you looking for a sweet way to warm up in the winter? Well, our next guests are here to show us how to make s'mores with an infused chocolate twist. The owners of Eleven Courses Catering and Event Company, Jim and Melissa Benson, are back with us today. They're going to teach us some great recipes that you can share at a fire pit party. Welcome back, yeah. guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Great you. to be here. Yeah, thank so, you. So, yeah, you think of, you know, the campfire in the summertime and roasting your marshmallow. And That's right. You're, what, what you're saying is we can do this any time of the year. That's right. We're taking it year round. Uh, Melissa, you want to talk a little bit yeah, about Yeah, so what this. we do is you can just take any kind of wooden container. This is something I got out of my living room, so you can do different uh, sizes and put a gel stirner in there, fill it with lava rocks or stone, get them at your local craft store, and there you go. You started your indoor fire pit party. You, you can you can make your s'mores and so, lots so, of other treats. So the fire's going here. Okay, mm -hmm. so right. you've got, uh, what is the container made out of? Just um, wood? Th this one is just just wood. wood. Uh, we have a metal container over here. And these Any are kind lava of vessel, rocks. Right, lava rocks. You so can you use, use you know, decorative rocks. stone, uh, anything to kind of liven up the presentation of it. Uh, and we these use the gel. Yeah, the gel stoners work great because they give off that flame. Yeah. That that, that's going to, you know, caramelize your marshmallows Great. and some of the products that we have here. And we can have yeah. this indoors. Which indoors. Is so yeah. nice. Your, your yeah. marshmallows don't need to hibernate. <laughs> How <laughs> fun at a party! Oh, yeah. especially. You know, oh. to have this going on and, and say, you hey, you can take your foods and roast them yourself. Exactly, and you can customize yourself and have fun with your food, which is always great. So and so we're talking about roasting marshmallows today. That's right. And with marshmallows, <laughs> we need chocolate uh, to make yeah. it, uh, you know, make it your own. So. For here, we have some dark chocolate. Uh, we've melted that, uh, and we use a double boiler, something you could do at home. Take a pot, a little mm -hmm. bit of water, bring it up to a boil, have that steam, and you can gently melt the chocolate without burning it. Uh, to that, we can add a few simple ingredients. Ginger is always something that can excite the palate, add that little bit of spiciness uh, to make the chocolate a little bit more interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to reinforce the flavor of the chocolate with a little bit of espresso just to deepen that mm -hmm. chocolate flavor. Oh, I'm smelling the ginger. Right. Right. Oh, oh yes. Mm. <laughs> and then uh, just to throw a little curveball, we have some craft beer that we reduce down with some honey. And this is going to give you that, that, that bold flavor of the beer. The honey kind of tempers yeah. the hops in there so it's not, you don't get the bitterness since it's concentrated. And then we add wow. this into here. I don't think I've ever tried something like that. <laughs> yeah. it, it's, it's, it's definitely fun honey to experiment and beer. with. That's right. That's right. Now, how's that going to taste in our chocolate? Excellent. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to give this a little bit of a stir, and then we have a little bit of... Um, so this is getting really uh, gourmet. Yes, yeah. yes. A little bit of cayenne pepper just to give a little bit more heat to reinforce against that. And so you can simply take this aside, scrape okay. into your shallow pan, and then mm. we can spread it out into your form that you'd like and then top it with your favorite ingredients and what are you putting on set. there we have some uh, candy ginger Ooh. you want to spread that out nice and smooth and then let it set up in the um, refrigerator and then we have the finished product here oh. uh, so you, you can really get a chance to get artistic uh, bring out that artistic side yeah. of yourself now tell us about some of the different ones the different infused chocolates that you've already made over sure. here because well, I mean I see this one has ginger on it right oh yes yes yeah, yeah that's similar to the one that, the we one just, that you just made, made. what's right. this one with the or is that carrot the it's actually mango it's like a dried fruit it's a fruit and chocolate and you really go well together um, it has a lot, some berries in there and then a little bit of white pepper so it kind of gives that a nice kick to it wow. uh, we recommend using like three ingredients usually really balances out. Anything more than that, it starts to get a little muddled. Sometimes you can get away with it, but three is kind of at the, the top. And when you're and when you're building your s'mores at home, if you don't have time to temper your chocolate and to, and to actually infuse it, you can always just add these ingredients right on top of your chocolate. You, when you add the hot marshmallow in, the gooiness is all going to seal that. It, it's going to seal it in. It's going to feel like you just infused your chocolate. Wow. So, uh, well, yeah. what, what's this one with the nuts and the uh, yellow powder? So that's yeah. a deep yellow curry. It's got a little oh. bit of spice to it. Um, we actually added a little bit of wasabi there too, and then it's got some crushed walnuts uh, and a little bit of balsamic vinegar too. So that we kind of broke our rule there. Right. And we, we did four. Well, so. How do you choose? I mean, they all right. sound so exotic and right. kind of interesting. And, and you know, you don't have to stop with just the s'mores. You can do uh, other dishes as well. We have a little bread pudding on a stick, and we simply take uh, you know your favorite bread, incorporate. Oh, this over here is yes. bread pudding. On yes, a yes. Oh yeah. So gosh. we have a little bit of egg custard in there. What is we the red thing on top? We have a 
little bit of raspberry puree uh, over there and wow. some candy shavings. Well, that looks fabulous. Uh, so yeah, it's yeah. a lot of fun and you think outside the box, you know, kind of take your favorite desserts and make them miniature and incorporate them into the flame. Wow. And uh, now with your bananas on the stick over here. Yes. Yeah. We did a candied banana that almost like a bananas foster take uh, over the flame. Easy to do inside. We have some baby red bananas. We finished it with some shaved coconut. Oh, can you dip uh, those in chocolate too? Oh, of course. You, <laughs> you can dip, dip anything, anything in chocolate. In chocolate. Yeah, yeah. That's very important to me. Chocolate <laughs> right. and banana. Right. Uh, what are the little bread, bread crisp things oh, over yes, there? Yes, we have some Parmesan crisp. So we can create uh, oh, wow. s'mores uh, on steroids. Add some uh, Parmesan <laughs> oh, wow. uh, to that and create your own little stack. So like a savory yeah. s'more. Uh, that's right. Oh, wow. That's right. Sweet, right. savory, bittersweet. So you've got some uh, the beginnings of a s'more over here. Right, um, right. These are the, first of all, these are the biggest marshmallows I think I have ever seen. Where do you get something like that? If you're going to do it, you got to go big, and you can find it at your local grocery stores. Uh, you can also... This big? Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, different shapes and sizes. I mean, they're like every bit of, what, two inches by two inches? <laughs> right, but once it melts and then your friends want to join you, you know, you want to share. Uh, so. <laughs> and then over here, we've got some... Uh, Pink colored yeah, so you marshmallows. Can, you, can also what are infuse, those? you can also infuse your own marshmallows. In this, we actually have some beet powder and some hibiscus powder marshmallows and a little bit of carrot powder. So you can take yeah. that savory sweet combination and mix it with your different chocolates. Um, sometimes you want to do an infused chocolate with an infused mm -hmm. marshmallow. Sometimes just maybe going with a solid chocolate bar and, and infusing your own marshmallows. But this is all really, really simple to do at home. So it's not overwhelming, but you get this exotic it's culinary so experience. Yeah, 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 something different. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now, the one that I chose was what? Ginger uh, and. Yes, ginger yeah. and, uh, with, beer. Yeah, with the craft right beer. And, yes. and so is this what you made over here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready to give a shot? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think my mouth is shut, <laughs> but maybe on the commercial break I will try my homemade s'more. So, Thank you so much, oh, Jane, so yeah. Jim, and Melissa Benson. <laughs> yeah. And the company is called 11 Courses Catering, Columbia, Maryland. Thanks for stopping yes. by. Thank Thanks, you. Tony. And for more information about how to make your infused chocolate to top off your s'more, your ultimate s'more, just visit their Benson's website, 11courses.com. And we will be back with more Let's Talk Live after the break.